Good morning, welcome back to the studio. This is my second vlog to give you an update of what has been going on. So you know last week I uh, gave everybody uh, the overhaul of what my 2021 is going to look like in terms of goals. I'm wearing my mask today because there's actually quite a few other people here so I decided that since one of the goals was to spend at least 30 minutes a day uh, sketching or making art that I would show you through some of the sketchbooks that I have so you can see kind of what I'm up to and part of my process which is um, really anything from observing, imagining, doodling, writing, all of those things and you get to have a peek inside the sketchbooks today. Uh, mostly this week I've been working on stuff to do with my online sales, trying to increase presence there. So I have now got, I think, 10 designs of my art on Teespring. So that is a site, teespring.com, where you can go and you can find all kinds of different designs and art on t-shirts, on homewares, mugs, phone covers, you name it. So uh, I'll show you uh, a couple of uh, those. This is the octopus that I drew as part of my Canada 150 series. I have uh, a moose doodle from a moose that I observed while I was out snowshoeing. Here's the octopus again on a baby grow, which I think is super, super cute. And last of all, I have the three owl doodle, which has been very popular so far. So yes, yeah, so I've spent a lot of time uh, on the computer this week getting all that kind of stuff ready. And uh, if you do want to visit that site, I'll put the uh, link directly to it in the comments on the video. And there is a code which is good for today, Sunday, uh, the 10th of January. It's the last day of the January sale. And uh, that code is LJ Thanks. And uh, you can use that today until midnight to get a 15% discount on anything in the store. All right, great. Here we are. So we've got. Uh, three of the fairly typical sketchbooks that I work with. These are just uh, regular um, plain kind of cream paper. You can get these at Opus Art Supplies or pretty much any art store. And um, these are the type that I use. I like to decorate the outsides as well. And as you can see, some of them are a bit battered. And then I have uh, the moleskin box, which I use to keep track of uh, my paintings, either what I'm making, but also uh, the different layers. So. Um, in these you'll find, let me see if I can find a good example, so you'll find, yeah, here we go, the Great Grey Owl that I painted a whole bunch. This is the uh, order of the stencils uh, that I paint on and um, the colour that goes next to them and then I've noted the sizes that I've painted these on as well. Um, so these are some older ones, some of the polar bears, and uh, this is mostly just listing, um, although there is some sketch work here for composition for a lion skateboard deck that I did just there and that was uh, a few years back. I actually have a longboard deck which is uh, ready to be painted so if anybody has thoughts on what to put on it I would uh, I would love to hear those. So going through the sketchbook the idea of it is like it's not supposed to be like perfect art it's more to um, collect details uh, have some fun just kind of let loose like day in the life of a windsock. Um, it's just me uh, messing around. Um, and then there's, you know, other pages. Uh, I write a lot. Um, I mess around with numbers. I sketch uh, repeatedly in sort of uh, the same colors. Um, I love making lists. I know to some people this looks like kind of crazy stuff, but this is a great way for me to generate ideas and come up with things. Um, got like a whole bunch of Christmas trees there. Sometimes you know, it's, I guess, like writer's block. You'll come to the sketchbook not really knowing what you want to sketch. Uh, and um, you just got to get a pen in your hand and get going, because if you don't, then you never make anything. This is a drawing I made last January. See there, January 2029. This is a picture of my sister uh, cooking in my mum's kitchen. And I just did this sitting at the kitchen table watching her uh, and, and drawing. Um, and then there's stuff that goes badly wrong, and you can use that then just for, you know, scribble, doodle, messing around. You can see here, you can probably just make out, this is uh, the outline of my dog, Hunter. This is often the way that I draw him, and I've just repeated that over and over. And sometimes that's just to get your hand going. Uh, another observational drawing, this was also last year. This is uh, my grandpa uh, sitting in his chair. And, um, you know, like, there's some 
mistakes in there about you know where I put his hand or you know maybe he moved or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about just the practice, that kind of thing. Uh, this is their living room, and um, I think I'd like to do more more drawing kind of in this style. Uh, this is uh, a micron pen, but a millimeter thick. About that, and it goes on. So these sketchbooks, I've got bits of collage in. Uh, they've got various sort of composition doodles. Uh, tons of like random writing. Um, I've been experimenting with repetitive design. I'm going to be looking at um, detailed background stencils this year on some of my work. Um, what else have we got? Making up stories. Uh, you know, putting pieces together and just seeing how how it looks. Got some quick, just single line sketches of uh, <laughs> that's a cat at home. Some people. Uh, it's the back of uh, one of my friend's heads sitting in a, in a bar many, many months ago. Um, this was a practice for uh, just checking that the stencil fit for this star when I was making Christmas decorations this year, or last year now, I guess. Uh, that's Tar sitting in our ugly chair at home. Um, page full of eyes, because why not? Oh, loads of bits of like collage stuff that I've cut out. I've been uh, messing around with letter cuts out, you know, that kind of ransom note style. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff stuck together here. Um, some cow sketches, it's weird, I actually got uh, uh, someone contact me this week to ask me if I'd actually done any cows. And um, I have two cow paintings. Uh, I have um, one which is uh, kind of like a response to the global beef herd and then one which was a picture of a cow from the Camino. Um, <laughs> this is uh, some sketching of llamas uh, from a photograph that uh, I just happened to cross on someone's Instagram so I did a bunch of uh, little llama sketches there and that was kind of some fun. Uh, messing around, doodling, it's, uh, the cat again. Um, just some basic composition work, trying to figure some bits and pieces out here. What else we got? Coming to the end of this one. This one's basically completely full. Um, but you can see, like, there's no, like, one particular style. It's, like, lots of different things. Um, you know, people, faces, whatever it might be. I don't think this one's quite as full. Uh, well, this is a, a page of flowers that I did, and then one of the other things that I'll do is I'll ride the bus and uh, I'll draw people on the bus. So here's a lady who uh, got off at commercial Broadway. I always just know wherever it was that they got off and I'll just do this. So this will probably be like two or three minutes of sketching while someone's on or between stops. And that's a good way just to, to practice, you know? Um, what else we got in here? This one's, yep, some composition work there. Uh, some observation of a Great Dane. Same again. Um, you can see it's working with some felt tips. I wasn't prepared uh, the day that I actually ended up doing this and the, uh, the crayons that were available, you can see the, they, were, they were running out. So it's kind of a little bit all over the place, but still fun to go through the exercise. And then this one, I'm trying to think what's in here. Oh yeah, this one's actually one of a more recent one. Um, you know, these are some little bits of drawing with some collage bits on, um, you know, some observations of people. Uh, here, what have I put here? The rabbits completely tore up the lawn. So uh, yeah, these hidden carrots. Um, yeah, just just messing around, adding things to pictures that already exist. Uh, maybe it uh, seems a bit crazy. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, this one. I drew this one this week. This one was on Instagram this week. The owl, and uh, this is a fella. Uh, I drew this as sort of a. I'll do like a one-minute competition with myself to see, you know, like what can I draw in a minute. And this is a freeze frame of a YouTube video of a gardening guy that Tara and I watch out in Wales. So there's a picture of him. Uh, and these are single line drawings. So observing a cat in this case, drawing it uh, here. I've drawn twice and um, you just draw and keep your pen on the paper and that's how it works. Uh, abstract? Huh, why not? 
so that's kind of what this uh, this week's been about. I've done most of my work at home. And that's definitely not like my, prepared, my preferred way to work. Like I would way rather be down in the studio. It's just this week um, with the other work that I do is just not really allowed for me to come down here. So today I'm uh, down here and I'm about to start on stencils for um, one of the commissions that I have. I have two commissions on the go at the moment. Uh, one's an animal portrait, one's a people portrait and um, one is uh, another version of the uh, VW camper van that, uh, that you got to see there at the end of last year and beginning of this year. So uh, one of my goals was to do 30 canvases this year. So if I can finish both of these two, I'll be well on my way because that will be three done already. Um, so I'm just really stoked with how things have been going. So if you're enjoying this, enjoying following along, um, I really appreciate your support. I hope that you will like and subscribe at the end of this video, maybe give it a share or show it to your friends, but um, please like and subscribe because uh, you can't um, link your YouTube account to any of your other platforms until you've got a thousand subscribers. So um, help me out and uh, there'll be another update next week. Thanks for hanging out with me and um, yeah, have a great week. Stay safe. Bye for now.